Alberta municipal leaders are gathering in Red Deer for the annual Alberta Municipalities Trade and Convention Show, a key event that brings together local leaders from across the province. Now, over the next three days, we will be live on location in Red Deer, offering you insights and perspectives directly from these community leaders. We will be speaking directly with municipal leaders about the critical issues they face and how this convention will help them prepare for their final year of the 2021 2025 council term. Now, throughout this event, attendees will hear from high profile provincial leaders, including Premier Daniel Smith, Minister of Municipal Affairs Rick McIver, and Alberta NDP leader Nahid Nenchi, to name a few. These key speeches will provide opportunities for municipal leaders to engage in meaningful dialogue with the province's top decision makers, both one on one and in group setting. Yesterday, Tuesday, September 24th, delegates began arriving in Red Deer at the convention center. Now, we caught up with a few attendees to learn about their goals for the convention and what they hope to bring back to their communities at the end of the week. Scott, four days, Alberta municipalities. What's the one thing you're hoping to take away from this four-day, well, three-day convention? Oh, geez. Um... I think for me, a lot of it is the networking aspect of it, because when we are networking with other councillors in different parts of the province, we can address some of the issues that we have that they've already worked through, and it really makes it easier for us to know what's kind of worked, what hasn't worked. So I think it's really the connections that stand out for me. Well, two of the big events that are happening this week is Alberta Premier Danielle Smith is going to give her speech in a question and answer session on Thursday. And of course, the great uh, unofficial official bear pit session that will happen Friday with, uh, with the ministers. Uh, is there anything that you're hoping that the ministers or the premier will address in their speech or in their question and answer session? Um, nothing really off the top of my head. I'm just curious to hear what they have to say and see how they react to some of the questions. I know... Some people are in favor of them, some people aren't. So we'll see kind of how it all pans out. One of the big things that I'm hearing from delegates that I've only been recently chatting to is they're really looking forward to the networking, the networking with other municipal leaders for yourself, who is someone who is also networking. Is there a specific group community that you're looking to network with, to connect with, so that way you can learn something from them or get best practices from? For me, with the convention, it's more reaching out to the communities that I don't normally see. So with being just outside of Lethbridge, you know, anyone north of Calgary, really, that we don't interact with on a regular basis is somebody that I'd like to connect with because, you know, they have similar problems, but they're in a similar atm or a different atmosphere. So it's, it's interesting to see how they overcome things. And from a local perspective, from Colher's perspective... I, as someone who's not speaking for council, but in your own opinion, is there anything that Colehurst is looking forward to getting from these for three days convention? I think one of the big things for us is we did co-sponsor a resolution this year on um, the Regional Economic Development Alliance funding. So that was something that I was passionate and I brought to council and we've been working to kind of ensure that that funding remains because we do see the benefits of the RITAs for municipalities like ours. So we'd like to see some traction and hopefully that resolution passes. Larry, councillor, I should say, um, Alberta Municipalities Convention, what are you looking forward to over the next three days to hear from the ministers, to hear from the premiers, the leader of the official opposition? Is there anything you're hoping to hear of them to talk about? Specific questions? I would like to see uh, some movement on matching inflation for the library funding. Um, from the ministers, that's the main ones. Uh, from the convention, I'm looking for meeting with other councillors, talking about issues we're both dealing with. So what is the big issue in Toefield right now from a councillor's perspective? As I asked that question, knowing you don't speak for council, but from your perspective, what do you see is the biggest issue facing Toefield today? The same issue that always facing council, money. Are you hoping that the Premier will bring a big bag of money with her to her speech on Thursday? No, I'm realistic enough to know she's not coming with a bag of money. Money's always the bottom of the issue of whatever issue there is. And uh, I, I've been on council for a long time and it's not going to change. So how do, you do, how do you move forward when money is a big issue and you can't do it on the backs of the people who live in Tofield? You have to find ways to find the money. Uh, there's different ways of raising money through donations. There's different ways to look for different sources of money as well. 
we don't want to raise the taxes any more than we are. absolutely have to. And uh, external forces are raising the money on our taxes faster than we are. Last question. You're going to be meeting with a lot of municipal leaders from across the province over the next three days. You'll be chatting about probably that exact question, which is money, money, money. What partnership are you particularly looking at trying to forge getting out of this convention on Friday and heading back to Toefield? Is there a community you want to speak to about how they're doing something or is it just the general sense of working together as an organization? For me, it's a general sense, but... uh we're looking for some movement on victim services. We're looking for some movement on uh, bringing full-time care into long-term er, for me, lodge facilities. And I'm also looking for some movement to get the province to agree to inflation-proof their funding to the municipalities. That's, that is a big partnership and their money is falling behind. Deputy Mayor, a three-day convention, Alberta municipalities, is there anything that you're looking to take away from this next three days? Uh, Just an enhanced knowledge of what's going on around us. Anything in particular that you're hoping to hear from the Premier, the Leader of the Official Opposition, or even the Cabinet Ministers that you're hoping to take home and help your community grow a little bit? Uh, I'm hoping to hear a little more uh, refined solutions to some of the problems we're facing. We're looking for a lot more solid decisions on how we're going to budget through the next uh, next couple of years, so I'm hoping to hear some answers there. And what particularly are you hoping to hear? Like more funding, more grants? LGFF increasing, is there anything in particular? Uh, it's LGFF is definitely the first thing that we're thinking about. We need stable infrastructure funding for municipalities. We need it to come from somewhere. One way or another, we need a formula. And when you head back to Devon, after this is all done, what's the one thing you're hoping to take back? Uh, I'm hoping to take back some good news and a spirit of cooperation with our friends and neighbours. Alberta Municipality kicks off tomorrow. Are you excited? Yes, I, I mean, I'm always excited for this. It's, it's a good time to, to learn new things for the community and to reconnect with all the municipal leaders across the province, uh, some, you know, some provincial uh, leaders and ministers, the premier. It's always great to come here and learn and bring back new things to the municipality. Bear pit session on Friday. Speeches from Premier Smith and Hayden Enchi on Thursday. Yes. Is there anything that you're looking for the Premier, the Leader of the Opposition, the Ministers to specifically say to help municipalities that Crocky Mountain House? You know, when we're here, we're always advocating Ministers for different things. Uh, obviously, fun, funding is going to be one of the biggest things. We want to we want to get our fair share of the provincial funding. Uh, and that is always a challenge because there's there's always more needs than dollars. So that's why we're here. We're here to t- talk to the ministers firsthand and say, you know what, our our town has this problem. How can we partner? How can we make this happen together? Because it's we need partnerships nowadays more than ever uh, just to get things done. You talk about the partnerships. The last question I have for you is meeting with different municipal leaders from across the province. Is there one partnership that you're specifically looking to target or is it the province that you're mainly targeting with being here at Alberta Municipalities? I, I think it's the province in general. Uh, here we have a united voice. We have municipalities that are small in size, we have municipalities all the way up into the millions. So here we have one voice, one goal, and one way of moving forward with, with partnerships with the province because we can't do it alone. Like I said, the province can't do it alone, the municipalities can't do it alone, the federal government can't do it alone. All three levels of government need to come together, work together towards a common goal for the people because that's the only way that that we can make things happen. Like today's episode, we will be bringing you recaps of every single day of this convention at 7 o'clock Mountain Standard Time in your YouTube feed. So if you haven't already, head over to the Cross Border Interviews YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. You will not want to miss these recaps because we'll be bringing you the speeches and we'll be bringing you more in-depth conversations one-on-one with municipal leaders from across the province. Until tomorrow at 7, just keep talking.